From half a world away in central China, Li Weiyi savors the reactions that the works of her art collective provoke here in Germany. We really enjoy just only, even just only seeing people stand in this area. It's really funny. This work is a collage of photos, videos and emoticons. An installation to be experienced and a wry turn on the images that flood our minds through social media. Like many Chinese artists, the Ma Daha group has faced restrictions. For us, is we're trying to play with the limitation. We, te we try to t test where this boundary is. So that's our way of doing art. With nine exhibitions showcasing 120 artists, this is the biggest survey of contemporary Chinese art in all its nuances to be seen in Europe. All the works pass China's borders to Germany without being censored. But the show's organizers insist that that doesn't mean that these artists toe the line of China's ruling Communist Party. The Chinese authorities simply had some questions that they wanted answered. We were asked to provide explanations why these artists were supposed to be exhibited here, and we obliged. And for all the artists we wanted, including the artist Ai Weiwei, who was also invited, we received authorizations. As it turned out, Ai Weiwei cancelled. Just why is unclear. But the show includes other artists who openly criticize the Chinese government. They include photographer Alfred Ko from Hong Kong. His photos show the protests in the city in the fall of 2014. Also from Hong Kong is artist Long Chi Wo and his installations made of newspapers. There's a diversity in the contemporary Chinese art and we shouldn't try to simplify it. I guess like from the point of uh, educational value of this exhibition is also trying to show the German audience there's not only one China. And that of course means that there are many kinds of art in China too. Some works may flirt with restrictions, but the full spectrum of Chinese art is also allowed to unfold.